If you watched my video from last week, you'll know that Shahar Isaac did not attend the chosen season 4 premiere in Los Angeles. And the reason for that was explained by Dallas Jenkins during the event. The director of the series said that Shahar was fighting for the IDF in Israel, which was a shocking revelation that no one really knew about. Apparently, even though Shahar served in the military after he turned 18, he was called again to the reserve units after October 7. Although personally, I feared we wouldn't see Shahar for a long time, Dallas Jenkins ensured that he would get a special permit from the Israeli government to come film The Chosen Season 5. This was reassuring news, but I would have still loved to see Shahar at the Season 4 premiere with all his castmates. To my surprise and many others, Shahar showed up a few days later in London, at the London premiere of The Chosen Season 4. This time, Dallas wasn't there because of a scheduling conflict, but Shahar's castmates joined him in the screening of the new season. Even though I thought Shahar was really shy and someone who didn't like to give interviews, he talked during the premiere but also did a press run with Noah James after. I watched every second of all the new interviews and here's what I learned about Shahar Isaac and what he has been doing. During the premiere, I expected Shahar to talk about his time in Israel. But an interviewer didn't ask him anything related to that subject and Shahar didn't go into it either. Instead, we learned that he was experiencing a homecoming because he had spent two years in London, in drama school as he specified in another interview, and also worked there, so it's a city that he really loves. Shahar also revealed, perhaps even gave spoilers about the events of season 4. In episode 2, there will be a reconciliation scene where he will forgive Matthew. Throughout the show, we always see Simon resenting Matthew because of the role he played as a Roman tax collector. In another interview too, Shahar said that the second episode is about forgiveness between the two and moving on. Before moving on to the other details Shahar revealed in the interviews, I just want to say how surprised I was by his demeanor and the way he presented himself. He made so many jokes, he was fun. He was also deep and emotional and had so much brotherly love for his on-screen brother, Noah James. The two kept making fun of each other during the interviews but also shared the love they had. At one point, Shahar even mentioned that the time passes so quickly when he is filming scenes with Noah, so they have a great work relationship and are friends outside the set as well. In one interview, the reporter asking the questions, who was also in a screening of season 4, mentioned that Simon was so happy in this new season, which is a relief to be honest, after seeing him going through so much trauma, especially in season 3. It turns out, we knew this from the trailers and behind the scenes, Simon will get his new name Peter probably in episode 2 or 3 and we will see a slight change in his character. He will become more mature and more empathetic, he will truly assume the position of a leader and forget about his own troubles for a minute and just be there for his friends. Because of his position change, his friends will start looking at him differently as well and we will see the repercussions of that, but Simon Peter's journey in season 4 will mostly be about maturity, acquiring more responsibility and being a leader. Shahar said that Simon's group will have moments of need and his character will be there for them. I'm so excited for this. In another interview, he also got asked a very interesting question. Whose character and storyline in the show did he most resonate with? While Noah James also got asked the same question, his answer was Shumual as he thought Shumual's journey, trying to learn about Jesus and his faith from the outside, Having that intellectual curiosity has made his character interesting and is something that Noah shares with him. Whereas Shahar responded with Mary, saying that her role is the most interesting and complex, which was an incredible answer. By the way, in one interview with spoilers, they revealed what the content of the first episode of season 4 would be. I knew that it would be about John the Baptist and I thought the whole episode would focus on Herod and his banquet, but apparently we'll see the disciples as well. Shahar and Noah said that when they watched the first episode, they didn't know any of the characters in the first half of it because they never shared any scenes together. Shahar also mentioned loving the dance scene performed by Herod's stepdaughter. So the first half of episode 1, John the Baptist and the whole sequence, but the other half is about grief, so the reactions of others to his death. Throughout all of these interviews, I expected maybe a word about what happened to Shahar in Israel, but he didn't say anything. He didn't really share anything about what he has been doing for the last couple of months. Anyway, he is fine and that's what should matter for the chosen fans. 
We know that he will be filming season 5 in a couple of months, so he's not going anywhere. By the way, when this video gets released on my channel, the first three episodes of The Chosen Season 4 will be in theaters. I won't be able to go, but I hope you do. Leave your spoiler-free reviews in the comments if you went and watched it. Also, I'm thinking of making an in-detail video about Shahar and things you didn't know about him. Would you be interested in that? Share your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more. See you soon.